Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mrs. Skowski, and if you're new, welcome! Today I'm going to be doing a read aloud video. Please enjoy! Before we start reading the book, there are three vocabulary words I want you guys to think about. The first vocabulary word is onomatopoeia. An onomatopoeia is when a word describes a sound and actually mimics the sound of the object or action it refers to when it is spoken. Onomatopoeia appeals to the sense of hearing and writers use it to bring a story or poem to life in the reader's head. It can also help to add a touch of fun or emotion to a piece. Examples of onomatopoeias throughout the book would be words such as bark or wine. The second vocabulary word is illustration. An illustration is something that serves to illustrate, such as a picture or diagram that helps make something clear or attractive. It could also be an example or instance that helps make something clear. The third vocabulary word is interpretation, and it is an ex explanation or opinion of what something means. Try to create your own interpretation while reading this book. The book I chose is Wolf in the Snow, written and illustrated by Matthew Cordell, because it is a newer picture book. This book was published in 2017. This book received the Randolph Caldet Medal for Best Illustrated Children's Book in 2018. I picked this book because you don't necessarily need words to tell a story. By looking closely at the illustrations, you can see the journey that is being taken and the emotions that the characters feel. I encourage you guys to create your own story during this video. Before we get to looking at the illustrations, I'm going to read the excerpt inside the front cover of the book. A girl is lost in a snowstorm. A wolf pup is lost too. How will they find their way home? Paintings rich with feeling tell the satisfying story of friendship and trust. Here is a book set on a wintry night that will spark imaginations in warm hearts. The next three illustrations are extras and they're given by the author before the story begins. Now, while you're reading the story, make sure to create your own interpretation of what it means. On this page, we have bark, bark, bark. And what is this again? If you guessed onomatopoeia, you are correct. Sink! 
point point how about you guys, but I'm really glad that the wolf and the girl found their way home. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed the illustrations and created your own story. Make sure to leave a comment below and tell me what you thought the story was about. I definitely recommend that you take the time to look at this book and create your own narrative. Write it down and tell it as your own. What do the characters say? How do they feel? What do you think the little girl's name is? I personally think that her name is Sonia. Tell me what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!